How do you adjust the calcium hardness levels in the water of your swimming pool? Well, kind of with calcium hardness, you don't really do a lot with it. Like you, you can add calcium hardness. If you don't have enough of it, you can buy a bucket of calcium flakes from your local pool and spa store, and you can follow the directions on the label for how much of them you need to add to increase the parts per million, the amount that you're going for here. But what if you have too many and you want to reduce it? How do you do that? Well, you don't really do that. And the way that you deal with that would be at the time that you fill the swimming pool, you would be aware, uh, like for example, if you're going to fill it from the, the house supply, the, the hose bib that's just outside the back door of your house there, what if it's really, really hard water? Like, like it would be a problem in your swimming pool. It's so hard. Well, I mean, first of all, you can have a pretty wide range of calcium hardness in swimming pools in general, especially with concrete pools. You can have a pretty high level of calcium hardness before it's a problem level. But if you knew that you're going to be putting in water that's going to be aggressively hard and it's going to probably be a problem for your saturation index and make your pool inclined to have issues with things like scaling, then the way you would resolve that would be by filling that pool with a water source which is managed, something that has the appropriate amount of calcium or a mixture of very soft water with no calcium and very hard water and a mixture of the two to arrive you somewhere in the desired range. 200 to 400 parts per million on average would be the ideal range of calcium hardness for a swimming pool. And again, the management of it, you can add some, but reducing it is kind of the solution is dilution. You dilute some of your water and refill with a fresh source that doesn't have calcium in it or has less calcium hardness in it, then you add that to reduce your total numbers. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.